this past week I did a little Easter slash spring themed photo shoot with my little sis and I really liked how this particular one came out so now I'm going to show you behind the scenes of my photoshopping process. So the image started off like this and I dragged it into uh, Lightroom and just color corrected it and brightened it up a bit and then I took it into Photoshop and did some more things, brightened up her dress, her face, and also the trees in the back. I made them a little bit more orangey just to make it a warmer feel. And then I started dragging in pictures of eggs that I took while I was out there with her in the forest. So it has similar lighting and so basically what I'm doing here is I added a layer mask and I'm just I'm trying to figure out an easy way to erase all the access photo that I don't need. I just wanted the egg. And basically what the layer mask tool allows you to do is just reveal some parts of the layer itself or hide them. And it's just an easier way instead of completely erasing it using the eraser tool, that's just risky, you know? This is a way to save your image in case you do need it. Anyways, as you can see, I'm continuing to bring in more and more of these colorful eggs and trying to figure out a place for them. I played around for quite some time, as you can see throughout the video, I've been moving them around a quite a bit, just figuring out where they make most sense to be honest. So then I individually go in cleaning it up, like I said, I using the layer mask tool to my advantage and erasing parts to make it look like the egg is behind or in some cases in front of the subject. This image has somewhat of a shallow depth of field as I shot it at 2.0 f-stop. So to make the egg placements look more realistic, I went to filter, blur, and then lens blur. And then at about 26 radius blurriness, did it start to look like it was blending in. But it still looks a bit off, so to make it really look like it belongs, I needed to give the edge a shadow, just as everything else in this image naturally has. So I grabbed the burn tool, and I just play with the shadow, uh, shadow midtones and the highlights with 15% opacity until I like how it looks. And then I do the same thing with the rest of the eggs, one by one. This part was probably the most tedious and longest, but honestly just bear with me, you'll get through this just like I did. This egg was somewhat unsharpened, so I went to filter sharpen to make it more crisp since it's, it's like in the same depth of field as the subject. And then I just cleaned up the egg with the clone tool and the spot field brush. Moving on to the orange egg, those brown pieces on the bottom were quite annoying and I wanted to get rid of them so I took the quick selection tool and selected that polka dot on the bottom left, copy pasted it and flipped it upside down to make the dot look cool again. And then cloned out the brown part. And then I started to cast the shadows on the eggs and the ground again. I noticed that the eggs had little sunspots coming in from their original images, so I cloned them over as well to make them spotless. And then I sharpened up the orange egg by a lot to match the subject's depth of field. So now it's about to get fun. I get to bring in props. <laughs> I grabbed the bunny and dragged him in and right away noticed not, he's not color corrected to fit into the image properly. So I went to image, color balance, and then corrected it. Then began to add its shadow and with using the burn tools once again. And the shadows were a bit warm when I needed them to be more bluey. So I added a layer and used the paintbrush and added light blue on top under soft light and 25% opacity. Then I brought in these little chicks and moved them around to find them a place on this canvas. I duplicated one of the chicks and turned them to face the other way and changed the shape up a bit so they don't look identical. Then blurred out that far back one because it's in the background of the subject. The next step I did was just clear out some of the spots on her face and then I realized one of the chicks were a little bit off colored so I color corrected it and then drew in their shadows. I just took the 
chance to clean up any extra things I saw that I didn't like. I somehow wanted to incorporate flowers into this, and didn't know how to at first, but then got inspired by one of my older images, and used those same flowers in this. I brought them in and changed up their colors using image replace color, and then chose the, one, chose the colors that suited the spring theme the best. Also, I fixed up their stems a bit and used the layer mask tool once again to hide any parts of the stem that I didn't want showing. I also decided to change the shape of the rose because I wanted it to bend it more down towards the subject. One step I usually do to most of my images and to make them more crisp is duplicate the layer and then use high pass on at least 2.8 radius. Then change it to hard light and to 50% opacity. Honestly, this step is not even necessary, but I just like to take it because I like to make all my images look very crisp, especially the dreamscapes that I make. Now I'm just doing the final touches, fixing the shadows with the burn tool and again cloning over anything I see that I don't like. And then I also go in adding shadows to the flowers so they don't stand out awkwardly. And lastly, adding a layer using the paint tool brush with a light yellow color to create a little bit of sunshine coming in. In the end, it's very very slight but I just thought it was needed to complete the image. And then I added a layer again with the paint brush tool using a dull blue color on soft light to give the sunshine a bit of a contrast. The very very last thing I noticed is a leaf in the corner right and I hid it behind the tree. And that's it! This was the final product of all that process. I did try to be a little bit more insightful with my steps if anyone wants to try this on their own. Besides that, I hope everyone enjoyed this video and if you did, you can check out the rest of my work on my Facebook page or my Instagram. The links are below. Thank you for watching! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha